What up everybody? How you guys doing today? Today we are at Myrtle Waves and oh my lord. It feels so weird to be doing another vlog, but it also feels pretty good. Um you guys may have noticed I haven't really been doing many videos on posters recently and like videos. And um, I figured I'd take the long way to Rubatuba because I want to talk about this a little bit. Um, I honestly really just have, have not had motivation to do it. Um, I'm, yeah, yeah, there's not really a specific reason. I just really haven't been wanting to do coaster and amusement park videos and water park videos recently. And yeah, I'm not really sure why, but I just haven't really been feeling it this season. But today I felt like, you know what? I kind of feel like vlogging, so why not make a video of Myrtle Waves today? Um, just because I haven't. And then I'm going to Family Kingdom later tonight. And I will do a video there, too. Uh, so that'll be two vlogs coming your way. I also am going to try the new Skyhawk there. Nothing really new here this year. I mean, I've showed you guys. I, I did a couple vlogs at the beginning of the season. Um, and I showed you everything new. Basically just seating areas and stuff like that. Yeah, that's really all that's new this year. Um, I'll also have a video about Wild Water and Wheels because they are swiftly destructing that park. Um, everything's basically gone. Um, but they are taking Monster Drop and H2 Erasers. They are taking those apart very, very um, carefully. So they seem like they're going to want to relocate that here, which is what they said. So yeah. Um, the other day I was here and um, it was extremely crowded. Like this line was spilling out out here, so it was pretty crowded. Probably the most crowded I've ever seen in this park. But right now it is not crowded, so we are going to rides and stuff but yeah it feels good to be making coaster videos again i just didn't want to do it when i didn't feel like it because that is exactly how you get burnt out and i don't want to get burnt out with youtube because i don't know honestly i've been pretty bored this summer so yeah not really going to the parks has been treacherous i also don't feel like filming and that's like a lot of the reason why i go to film this tube is not very inflated right now. At all. The quality is a little different than it was uh, at the beginning of the season. It's because my phone is in a waterproof case again. Because um, I don't think it was because of that, but my other phone broke. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think it was because of waterproof. It was an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I don't think it was because it wasn't waterproof. Because it says that phone's water resistant down to 16 feet. And none of this water is anywhere close to 16 feet down. So, yeah, I'm not, I don't think that's why. But just as a precaution, just in case, on the off chance it was, I do have it in a waterproof case and around my neck. So, that's always good to make sure that I don't drop it on a side. Because that's also an issue. Might wear it at Family Camp too, just because of that. So it's not, it's not really considered a loose article anymore. Um, all right. Good top. We are basically to the top of Aruba Tuba. I want to get back into these like hour-long vlogs. Haven't really made one of those this year. They've always been relatively short. So I want to make an hour-long vlog. Just like I used to do years ago. There is the beast and Broadway, the beach over there. And here's all these sides. Yeah, all right, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. I haven't done this one in a while.
Oh boy. Ah. Oh shit. Yeah, that was a good ride. Yeah, I could kind of miss this. I, um, I'll be open and honest, honestly. I've had a lot of issues um, through the past year of, like, mental health stuff. So, and, like, kind of forgetting who I am. So, I don't know. This is really helping me do this because I feel very natural right now which is a very good thing, so, yeah, um, I'm gonna take a ride on night flight, actually, because I have not ridden it a lot this season, and also, the other side has opened back up, um, there's two sides, and typically, one of them is closed, um, honestly, can't remember which one it is, but that one that's always closed is back open, and, um, oh my lord, how do I get in this place, okay, going under, I forgot how this place works. Yeah. I've ridden Sig Mountain pretty recently, but not really night flight. The water looks very high today. Um, it did rain quite a bit last night. Um, so I'm wondering if that is the issue. It's not really an issue. It's kind of good, but... Yeah, um, I'm gonna say the one I haven't ridden recently is the teal and green one. So that's the one I'm gonna do. Trims. Yeah, I don't know. It always seems like one of them's closed, but it seems like both of them are operating today. That's good. Wow, catch the mustards open this early in the morning different usually it's closed for the first couple hours <laughs> wish i could do rock and ray today but i don't have anyone here with me um, i have my grandma but she won't do it so yeah loud truck this tower is getting old <laughs> all right guys i'll see you at the top Oh boy. Hope he doesn't jump out. I'll be stuck. Ugh. started here. All right, here we go, guys. Yo. Yo, no way. Whoa. were non-existent. I mean, they're, they're there, but they didn't hit. The trim brakes, they didn't hit on that ride. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, yes, these, these two slides are here, Snake Mountain and Night Flight, are infamous for having trim brakes and their water slides. 
But yeah, that, those shrimps didn't hit that time, which was weird. I wonder if maybe that's what they were doing. Maybe they were taking them out, which... Hey, I'm all for them closing it for like a couple months um, to take trims out because that's awesome. You can definitely feel where they used to be. There's big stre like stretches of straight track where trims used to be, but they're not there anymore. Um, kind of heading over to catch a mustard right now. Then I'll probably head up Turbo Twisters. Um, wow, even Super Shoot's open right now. That's really weird. Puck's operating weird today. Never seen it like this. They have like every side open right now. And it's like not even 10.30 yet. Park literally like just open. This is where Richie stubbed his toe. I hope Richie comes back this year. Um, he's gonna try. Cause I know you guys like him on the channel. Ow. not gonna ride super shoe right now just kind of wrote that the other day I mean I love a new ride no matter what but if it's just it's tour racers and um monster drop and that's their new ride for like eight more years that would kind of suck because I've literally ridden that before I wonder what they're doing with Rock and Ray over there Looks like they're adding a new sprinkler. Interesting. At least it's not closed. I remember it used to be closed in 2020. It was closed like every single day. Always a fun ride, Thunderbolt. AKA Catcher Mustard. Called it that since 2021 when I first started doing these vlogs. Here's some of the more some more of the new seating over here. I remember this just used to be grass last season, it kind of sucked. This is the new venue at Myrtle Waves. They built this this year. Um Honestly, don't like it at all. It looks like absolute crap over here, over by the venue. Um, it's really just metal buildings. They did not dress it up one bit, which, yeah, that really sucks. That's why I, want, I wanted them to put a water coaster there. I think that would look a lot better and it'd be a lot better. Mm. Maybe by the end of the year, maybe we'll see um, some stuff from Wild Water coming in. Maybe some of the new slide pieces. That'd be nice. So, yeah. Cool. I'm going to hold my phone a little different right now because my finger is hurting. I don't know how I hold it when I go down the slides. I hold it weird. Um, little update, they did clean the fast lazy river over there. It's not as um, dirty as it once was, because that was that was a really an eyesore. And it really looked like really bad. So I am glad they fixed that over there. So 
Yeah. About to go up turbo twisters now. The best slide here. Maybe I'll do Riptide Rockets later too. Not sure though. Gotta ride orange. Orange is definitely the best one. Purple slow and green is closed. So, yeah, oh my God. Interesting stuff going on over here. I thought they fixed this at the beginning of the season. They patched these leaks up, but I guess they're back. I'm back for the season. Now it's wet over here too. Yeah, all right. Um, I'm not going to film all the way to the top because that takes a while. So I will see you guys at the top of Turbo Twisters. Park is dead so far today. Yeah, this is a tip for everybody coming to Myrtle Waves. Um, come early in the morning. Because, yeah, as you can see, there is, like, nobody here. I mean, there's a couple people over by um, Aruba Tuba. But, yeah, there is, like, no one here yet. Parking lot is pretty empty compared to when it slammed later on in the day. And this staircase is almost full. So, yeah, but now there's like basically a walk on. Yeah. That side's great. Love that thing. Um, I'll do Riptide Rockets while I'm here. While I'm on this side of the park. Do one of them. Whew. That was great. It's running pretty good for the morning. Running pretty fast. This slide is so forceful. It is hard to find a water slide like that with positive G's like that. It's insane. All right, see you guys at the top of Riptide Rockets. Complete and utter walk on. Um, orange looks smoother, so we're going to do that. That side's a rush. That's new stuff over at, um, what's this place, Bubble Bay. Added some new little slides over here. They have a frog slide. And a fish slide over here. That's kind of cool. Probably not gonna ride those because I'm not sure I'm allowed to. Maybe I'll try later. All right, I'm gonna rock for a bit. You know how it used to kind of like go halfway down, then like make it down slow? It just goes full now. Like it drops all at once. Like a usual bucket would. There it goes. It doesn't look like it fills up as much anymore. 
but this is all right guys so this is a pretty unexpected end to the video but um i'm glad i was able to come here and make a vlog um i know it wasn't one of those like, hour-long vlogs but we rode everything basically that i wanted to ride and most of it basically everything uh except like super shoot in snake mountain but um yeah I will be going to Family Kingdom tonight, so look out for that vlog. It will be coming out relatively soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing more vlogs here very soon as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the merch link will be in the description if you would like to support the channel further than just watching the videos. Um, you can buy merch in the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Aim high, not low, and never quit. Peace.